Now I got a request on how to uh, control uh, how to use bump maps in Lightwave. Now bump maps is kind of like a displacement map, uh, which can move stuff around on a, on a surface. However, uh, where a displacement map is physically moving the the polygons on the object, bump map is only a visual effect. So uh, using lights and shadow effects, you can use it to to make small details on objects like scratches and so on. So uh, it's a pretty nice uh, effect to use on your your um, objects. I also use in another tutorial here uh, bump maps to make a glass uh, wet with water bubbles on the side of it and uh, you can watch that on my page as well. But uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show a little bit about how this is working and so on. So I have a modeler here and I have made a 2.2 meters uh, square here as you see 2 meters here so on and I'm gonna save this out as bump plane test and I will write my old one here just a little quick setup so um, to sh show you here, I'm going to um, drag up Photoshop here, and this here is an example bump map. Uh, it's going to work like this, if I open a new one here again. Uh, I'm going to just here make a, a quick bump map as explanation here, 600 po uh, 0.600 here, and OK. Now, bump mapping work, works like this. Um, you have like a center point where the the level of bump mapping is neutral, and that is total gray in the middle. So you have to set here 128, 128, and that will be your mid level of the bump mapping. And do a fill on the surface here. Now everything you put on here on the bump map that is black will then go downwards on the surface. It could be small scratches, it could be dots, it could be whatever you like. And everything that is brighter than the gray area here will then go upwards on the bump map to the surface. So that way you can control to have, uh, have uh, scratches and dents and so on to the surface uh, using the color maps. If I try save this map here just for fun. Replace, yes, thank you. I'll minimize this and I will set this to layout. Now here in layout I will going to take my camera here and drag it up like here. And I am going to the side view to check out where my lamp is, it is here. I will convert this into an area light and scale it down a bit and I will hit M for motion. I have a panel here and I'll tell this to target the bump plane here. That's just for a visual effect here in the scene so you can see what's actually going on. Um, so. I'll show you why in a minute. I will now go into the camera view here and I'll start F prime for a quick preview here. So we can get on with this. I'll zoom out here a little bit. Like this. Now if I go into my surface editor here and go into bump mapping I can then uh, here select the axis. I can use procedurals if I want to make stuff, but I can also use the image, image maps. So here I'm going to load my map here and I'll go and map this on the Y axis and I'm going to stretch this to the surface. And as you see here already, um, I have now the surface here and you see the dark areas that we had before is going down 
there up here, you see, and the white area is going up. Of course, this is scaled up a bit, so if for scratches you would need some more detail and smaller uh, details in the image than this, but this is just for example. Uh, I can then, to a certain degree, go in here and I can rise my bump altitude here. Let's say 3, and you see over here, stuff is starting to happen. Also, uh, some specularity here can be added, and that will catch the surface here. Uh, and reflection also will will add to this. I'll now try this and take my light and move around, and you will see how this is affecting the bump map like there's actually some scratches or dents on the surface. I'll move my lamp further here and move it around. And as you can see, the lamp can be behind the bump map, it can be in front of the bump map, on the side of the bump map, and you'll be able to see the visual effect of the dents here. Of course, some of this is also due to the specularity here. You see, if I turn the specs down, much of this effect will uh, go away. So by this you can control how to uh, to get your bump mapping right here. This can also be used for stuff like tiles and so on. I'll go into my image map here, and I will replace this, and I will try load some tiles up here in my map section here uh, brass maps, tiles like here and I have a few tiles here um, as you see these are color uh, images uh, that is not kind of a problem because it's going to extract the grayscale of uh, the layers here and use the, the dark colors to to bump in and the, the bright colors to bump out. Um, so we can try, say, this white tile here. And then, of course, this is one big tile, so I'll need to go into surface here and I'll go into set the tile to, say, 20 centimeters and 20 centimeters. And as you see now, I got a bunch of bathroom tiles here on the floor and again if I select my light and I can move it around you can see now I have the light coming from here so I have a specular here and a shadow over here but if I move my light in the other direction you see I have a specular here and the shadow of the other side. So you see here how the bump map is reacting to the surface light and that's all looking very well. There is one note though uh, that is if you are using a lot of radiosity you cannot have uh, bumps working, working like this very, very well or in, except if you have lights in the scene too to activate the bump maps. Um, so we'll do a little test here and I'll turn down my lights and I will go into my backdrop and color this and I will then turn on global illumination here and of course as this is F prime it is not active at the moment for being active I need to go to the F prime master here. If you render with F prime with light if it's not necessary, I'll just put backdrop render here, but as you see nothing really is happening. So let's do this instead in the native render here and say we have set this up and and let's hit render frame. 
and we got a total bright frame here. Perhaps we have to dim this down a bit. Red. Oops, wrong panel. Take this down a bit. Take this down a bit and oops. Not the gradient color. Um, as you see, nothing is really happening right now. Um, I can also turn off, uh, turn on the shadow and the reflections, and so on. And we can render frame again, and we can't really see anything. That is because to be able to use the specularity here in the radiosity, we need to enable it in here the global illumination also. We have here uh, a section called use bump and if we turn this on we should now be able to see a little bit of bump mapping which we are not for some reason but that might be because at we currently have the lights from all angles. Um, so I'll try to just clone this for fun and make a quick wall set up here to plug off the light a bit so we don't have lights from all angles and see what happens and render and as you see now first of all the light changed but also the light the wall here got the tiles here to reflect on so currently now we can start seeing the bump maps here if we then go into bump map here turn it off again and set render you'll see that they are not as distinct here as before they look a little little sharper on the old setup um, but if we go into say like mapping an HDR map in the background it will be even more effective let's say the typical kit HDR let's see just a second I need to find this HDR images thank you do I have my kitchen probe? Yes, please. Here, I'll go and dim this down a bit because it's very, very aggressive. So, I'll dim this down to 3. Dim, dim, and it will now map this image around here, uh, the scene. So if we render now, you'll see how the bump map affects the reflection also. And if we turn on the use bumps and render again, You can see before and after that, that with the bumps in here, for example in the shadow area, the bumps are more visible, where without they are not not quite as visible, only by the reflection. So light here is, is catching better up onto the bumps than without the bumps sitting in here. So um, long story short, I work with uh, bump maps here in Lightwave and I doing a lot of radiosity in the scene and not quite seeing the bumps, try to go into the global illumination panel here and enable the use bumps here and uh, you might see uh, actually something happen. So a little story here about uh, bump maps, so uh, have fun and try it out. Bye bye.